This is an election night update from King 5 News. Good evening. Here's a look right now at the Trump headquarters at the Hilton Hotel in Manhattan, where supporters are watching those results come in on this very tight race. Welcome to King 5's election night coverage. I'm David Espinosa Hall. And I'm Amanda Grace. Boy, they must be cautiously optimistic yeah. there at Trump headquarters. You do have about 35 minutes left to vote in today's election. Washington requires that you either have your ballot postmarked today or you need to drop it in a ballot drop box by 8 p.m. You know what already? Supporters and candidates are gathering at election night parties. Let's start with King 5's Alyssa Hahn at the Republican Party in Bellevue. Alyssa? The excitement is building, as is the crowd here at the Bellevue Hyatt. I have Susan Hutchison, the Washington GOP chair, standing with me right now. First of all, we heard the numbers about Ohio just came in. Your reaction? Well, that wasn't a surprise. I think, uh, if anything, the polling will underpoll Donald Trump. And so any states that we knew were in his column initially, I'd be surprised if they didn't stay there. So Ohio was one of them. You were one of Trump's staunchest reporters here in the state. I know you received a lot of flack for what happened after the Access Hollywood tape and the remark that you had made about Trump being a Democrat at the time. Looking back on that time, your thoughts about it, how you feel about it? Well, you know, what I support is the Trump voters. And they chose him in this state, and I support them. We need them to vote, and we need them to vote Republican all the way down the ballot. And so it's, uh, it's important that, and I got a lot of flack from the media um, because they put words in my mouth that weren't there. What are we seeing? Something exciting. Yeah, they're, they're certainly reacting to some latest numbers here. are reacting to Ohio. Oh, okay. Yeah. They know it's a, an important prize. Um, this is going to happen all night long, I'm sure. Got so, it. Susan, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Back to you in the studio. A lot of smiles and cheers in that room. Melissa, thank you so much. Let's move now to across Lake Washington. Democrats are gathering to watch those results come in as well. King 5's Danielle Lee is at that party in Seattle. What's the mood there, Danielle? Hey, Amanda, while you were hearing all of those cheers with Alyssa, we were hearing a whole lot of boos there because of uh, what's been going on here tonight. There's still a lot of optimism here at the Democratic headquarters. We're at the Westin in Seattle. And if you look around, you can see the capacity here is about 800 people. And we're looking like we're getting pretty close to that. We've been told that they've had thousands of people RSVP for tonight. And so they are expecting to be in overflow rooms and to definitely be overcrowded. People here are optimistic, but they are a little nervous with these early numbers that we're seeing coming in and no way giving up hope. I want to introduce you to Diana Leitner here. She is a super Hillary Clinton supporter, was actually in Florida this past weekend trying to get people out to vote, and you've been making calls all day today. This is incredible. When we were all sleeping, she was up calling on the East Coast, then the Central, and then the West Coast. I mean, an incredible amount of uh, support and dedication. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling hopeful. I know that there are, you know, 70 plus electoral votes on the West Coast alone, and those votes haven't been counted at all yet. And I know that we haven't called Florida yet. Um, you know, there's a lot still out there, and I'm really, I'm feeling very positive about Florida. I know that <laughs> at least four people are going to vote for Hillary that weren't going to before I got there. So, yeah, you I think really we're okay. Put your blood, sweat, and tears truly into this campaign, and just tell me briefly why was it so important to you this particular campaign? You know, I mean, obviously I'm a girl, um, and it, it's really important for me to see somebody that represents me in the White House. Um, but also, man, this, is, this isn't this is about, you know, just us. This is about the world at this point. I mean, okay, we're going to have to jump in here because we're running out of time in this cut-in, but we want to take a quick look at the map now because Virginia has just been called for Hillary Clinton and Ohio for Donald Trump. So Clinton has 122, Trump 168. We'll be back. We'll continue to track the big local and national races in about 25 minutes. We'll see you soon.